is a Sunto magnetic compass. It's uh, it's a precision instrument. I bought it for about a hundred dollars years ago. I've used it a lot on land surveying. Um, if you turn it this way, that north arrow, that heavy black line, lines up with the compass and that mark right there. There's a little tiny mark right there in the glass. Um, uh, what you do is you look through this hole and you can read the degrees by looking through this hole and you you sight across the top of the compass with your eye plus you look through the hole with your eye to read the compass the, the degrees and uh, I think Sunto said that it was accurate to a tenth of one degree, which is six minutes. And and I I think they were honest about that. I've I've had good results with this compass. Um. Uh, for example, let's say you had a home lot and you wanted to find the property lines well let's say there's a fence on this line or, or near this line and and you think the fence is on the line you could stand here and sight the fence and read whatever bearing that fence is. And let's say it's, uh, you're reading north 40 degrees east. That means that um, north is that way. South is that way and east is this way. West is that way. Okay. Um, if the old survey map or the old deed calls for that line to be north 45 degrees east, then there's a difference between what you read, a, a five degree difference between what you read today with your magnetic compass and what the old deed says and hopefully that five degrees will be consistent all the way around on all the other bearings but that's uh, often the case so um whatever bearing this line is you can apply that same five degree correction in the same direction uh in other words uh the old deed says 45, you have to read 40 to be online. So that would be a negative five degree correction. So if this line says north 30 degrees east on the old deed, you would have to subtract 25 so that you would have to read north 25 degrees east today with your magnetic compass to to be on that line and um, um, l l let's say that uh, the highway is here and you've got a dash line going down the center of the highway um, if that you know using that same principle again if if this line in the old deed says um, uh, south 50 degrees east, going that way, that's the old deed. Well, if you take the compass 
and read the bearing of that center line of the highway, you know, assuming that the center line of the highway is parallel to your front line of your deed. Let, let's say you read uh, south 60 east. Well, that means you've got a 10 degree correction and hopefully that 10 degrees is consistent all the way around on all the lines and, and that, that's often the case. So, um, you would apply that 10 degree correction on all of these lines uh, to, to, to help find these lines. And of course the same, the same principle would apply if you had a, a hundred acre farm. Uh, if there was one line that you knew where it was on the ground, uh, let, let's say it's this line, uh, you can find that iron stake and that iron stake. Read the the uh, today's magnetic reading on that line and measure that distance with a tape and um, let's say uh, today's magnetic compass reading is um, south 80 degrees east. Well, if the old deed says due east, then you've got a 10 degree correction to apply on all of these lines, uh, assuming that uh, the difference between the old north and, the, and today's north is 10 degrees. And um, let's see, I, I think I said, uh, l let's say that is the old, and that's today that you read with the compass, then, uh, you would have to apply that correction all the way around on all the deeds in order to try to find these lines.